Hi right, guys, just want to talk about the the importance of perspective. Um, a lot of the time, a lot a lot of the problems people have is they grumble that they ain't got enough or whatever. Um, it's one of the things that you do get out of the Philippines is that you do get things put into perspective because when people think their life's hard, they're going to do a comparison to somebody in the Philippines. It's uh, life's much much harder. Um, but also. There's lots of little things. I mean, it's like earlier. I did, I did a couple of pictures um, relating to the. I was at the Sands Bar because April works there an hour, uh, well, a day a week for a bit of a social aspect, actually. Um, but the, the, the point being is what she's got there is when you look into the bar, it's, it looks quite dark and just looks like a bar. But when you look the other direction, it's actually the beach, the sun, people relaxing, enjoying themselves, and the majority of people sit outside. You know, the, most people don't sit sit in the restaurants and bars here. They're normally on the um, the beach side or sitting outdoors. There's a lot of canopies and stuff, which is the point. Same location, but two different environments, which is where a lot of people can get bogged down and like, my life's difficult, my life's this, rather than looking at the positives that they already have because many things you already do and have are beneficial and positive. Um, one of the big burdens is obviously debt with people. Now, even myself, I experienced some of this where I do have a fair bit of responsibilities because um, obviously we've got the stuff that's still functioning out in the Philippines as well as family life here in Spain. Um, so you could say it's twofold. You know, I've got two sets of things going on. But at the same time, I still have to generate revenue. I still have to make sure bills are paid, people are looked after, etc., etc. As such, the focus could be, oh, that's quite difficult. It's really hard. I mean, like right now, the crypto markets are back down again, and it looks like the ICO market's changing how the marketing's done um, to the point that it sort of scrapped some revenue generation. But instead of grumbling about it, what I'm doing is focused on things I can do, which is basically adjust things, find something else. Worst case scenario, get my um, asset surveyor site back up after um, a big thank you to HostGator for destroying it. Um, but I could spend two weeks rebuilding the website. Think, what's the point of that? Contracts. Um, I can hop in and out of the UK and go back to contracting if I have to, rebuild my safety net. Um, it wouldn't take me long to get contract work, but I'm trying to avoid that because I should be able to be here full time in Spain, but at the same time I don't mind doing the odd month here and there. It would also be good to take the car over to the UK and have a bit of run right across France and into the UK, around the UK doing contract work and then video and all that stuff and shoving it on YouTube. There's always a positive side to everything, and that's what I'm saying. The negative side would be that, oh, the ICO stuff's collapsed. ICOs is initial coin offerings. They're, they're like a business um, offering where you can buy shares on it, although they're not allowed to call them shares, so that's why it's not an IPO, which is an initial po uh, public offering, which is what you get with the stock exchange. It's an ICO and they're not called stocks or shares, they're called tokens, utility tokens, or um, security tokens. But anyway, uh, point being is you adapt to the environment, you adapt to what you need to do. See it from other people's perspectives. You know, at the end of the day, our life's not so difficult here. I'm driving around in a car that's only, I don't know, thanks to Spanish number plates, one or two years old. Um, some people have never even had a car that new. We're living in a nice little four bedroom house. We live near the beach. We have sun, sunshine, kids are happy. Nice, happy school environment. It could be worse. Um, so I don't grumble and that's what I do say is realize what you have got because ultimately you can get caught up in stuff sometimes. And it happens to, like I said, it happens to all of us sometimes. And that's why I wanted to sort of say that today is like, be aware things could be worse, but at the same time, you can always strive to make them better. Thanks for watching.